Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's Foundation Friday for over 50s, I'm going to be reviewing the Sephora Collection Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. This guy retails for $18 for 1.014 ounces and it comes in 16 shades. This is supposed to be a lightweight, soft matte finish tinted moisturizer that gives sheer breathable coverage that's undetectable on the skin. It's also fragrance free and cruelty free. Now I did try this in a video previously. I did an all new makeup try on video and this was the foundation I used that day and I really really liked it so much so that I told you guys all if you liked like you know, sheer, not really looking like foundation, foundation to run out and buy it. A lot of you did, a lot of you loved it, but I also said that I would put it through the multi-day Angie test, like I always do with everything, where I wear it for a few days, trying it with different primers, different setting powders, different sunscreens underneath, just to put it through its paces and see how it wears on more mature, less than perfect skin. I've worn this a ton because I really, really like it, but I've got two other days of testing on it to show you today, and we're gonna go ahead and put it on today. So let's get started with it. I do have my sunscreen on already. The sunscreen I use today is the Sunprise Mild Airy Finish SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. And I am going to use a couple of different primers under it today because I've already tested it with the It Gripping Primer with no primer. Today I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Primer Base and also the Laura Mercier Original Foundation Primer. So let's go ahead and get started popping this on here. I can tell you more about it as we go. So the foundation is contained in a squeezy bottle with a little nozzle and it's mainly a water and silicone base but it doesn't contain any sunscreen. It doesn't contain any SD alcohol. All right, let me just pull my hair back and we'll give the primers a second to set up. This does need shaking. Um, I have already put it on on other days with my fingers, with a brush, and with a sponge. Tried all three. And actually, it went on well with all three methods, but my favorite is with a brush. So today I'm going to use my Clairsonic brush. I haven't used this with it yet. I really like putting on especially sheer foundations with the Clairsonic brush because it doesn't so much wipe them around your face as press it into your skin. And where this is a tinted moisturizer rather than a full-on foundation, it definitely goes on very sheer. The shade I'm using is 07 Linen. Let's take a little bit more to do the forehead and even up the neck. I'm just going to add a little bit more in my T-zone. Try to just build it up there a little. I don't want to build it up too much to make it look makeup-y. All right, I really love how this tinted moisturizer goes on. It goes on so easily with the fingers, with the brush, with the sponge. It's just easy. It blends beautifully. It dries right away, so it feels really dry and really set. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not going to give you full coverage foundation look, but it definitely evens out the skin tone, reduces some of the redness around the center of my face. Um, it covers up my age spots about 50%. If I wanted full coverage on those, I would have to add some concealer. So looking at it nice and up close, I just love how it looks. It feels so weightless, so skin-like. It doesn't look like makeup sitting on the surface of my skin. So for me, this is really very pretty. It's much more matte today than it has been uh, of any of the other days that I've used it because of the products that I used under it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and not powder the T-zone. I don't feel like it's accentuating my pores or texture, which is awesome. And so I'm going to try it without the powder. We'll see when we come back in at the five hour check-in if it needs powder. On the previous days that I have worn it, it has needed some setting powder or some blotting at the five hour check-in and the 10 hour check-in. It's always gotten more shiny and more luminous throughout the day. So I just wanted to see today if I could control that a little bit more. Let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we'll do the kitchen light, the outdoor light, because it's a beautiful sunny day today cold out though. Um, we'll do all the other tests, the flash tests, the phone test, and then I'll be back for the five hour check-in in a bit. All right, I've got the rest of my makeup on. Today I'm wearing the Tom Ford Coco Mirage palette on the eyes along with the Stila liquid eyeshadow in Kitten. I've got the Ciate blush in Summer Love on my cheeks. 
the Jouer Highlighter in Rose Quartz. On my lips, I've got the Hourglass Girl lipstick in Activist. So let's go ahead and do the phone test first to start. I've got my nice shiny clean phone glass. We're looking to see if it is transfer proof or if it's gonna end up all over the place. That looks overall pretty darn clean. That is a pretty darn good phone test. Let me go ahead and do the flash test. All right, here's what it looks like in the flash test in the darkened room. I think that looks really good. I'm gonna give it a pass on the flash test. Let me grab my vlogging camera and go out and shoot it in the kitchen and in front of a window and outside so you can see what it looks like in real world lighting rather than in the magical studio lights. All right, here's what it looks like in the overhead kitchen lights. and in natural window light. All right, we got our first snow already. It's like February in November here this year. Super cold, been snowy, but tomorrow it's supposed to go up to 50 and rain, so this will all be gone. But today's the only day that we're getting decent sunshine and oh, there's a little bit of a haze coming in for tomorrow's rain. But the sunshine is still pretty bright so we should be able to get a decent sunshine test. So looking at it in the overhead kitchen light, I think it looks okay. I think it does kind of accentuate my texture a little bit. Looking at it in the window light, I think when it's reflecting more natural light, it does look really pretty when the light is very soft. I think it looks really nice and natural and skin-like. And out in the bright sunshine, I think it looks actually pretty good. I think it reflects light nicely. All right, so we've got a little time to kill before we get to the five hour check-in mark, but I just wanted to go over the other days that I wore it, bring in any footage that would help you to make a decision about if you think this foundation would look good on your skin and work well for you. So the first day that I wore it was an actual whole good day of all new makeup, which was awesome. The primer I used with it that day was the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business, and I think that this primer gave it the best wear. Um, we'll see how today's primers do. So then the next time I tested it was when I put it to like the real baseline test where I don't use any primer and I don't use any setting powder, and that day I applied it it over my usual sunscreen combo, which is the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44, mixed with a little bit of Paula's Choice Super Light SPF 30. I applied it first with my fingers on one side of my face and with a damp beauty blender on the other side. I originally thought that since it was a sheer foundation that the sponge might absorb a lot of it, but it really didn't. It does have some body to it and so it does apply really well with the sponge and it also applies really well with the fingers. I felt like the coverage on both sides was about the same. It definitely gives like a tinted moisturizer coverage. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation, so if you love full coverage this is not going to be it for you, but I feel like it does even out the skin tone and it looks really pretty and really natural on the skin. It dries back really quickly and it feels dry and feels set so you don't feel tacky all day. You don't feel like it's coming off on your fingers and under your nails and on your clothes all the time. Because my sunscreens underneath have a little bit of a luminosity to them, the finish of the foundation was a little bit more luminous, but I didn't powder it. I wanted to see how my T-zone would do throughout the day, if it would get more shiny. I came back at five hour check-in and my t-zone was more luminous it wasn't like super like oily or greasy looking nothing bad but I did blot it just to see you know if it would continue to get luminous throughout the day I did find that at that point once the foundation had mixed with my oils that blotting it did remove some of it onto the blotting paper and the good news is it didn't settle in wrinkles and it didn't settle in pores um, it's not wearing 100% fantastic, you know, it's looking a little thin on my nose and chin and right here on my forehead, but other than that, it's actually doing better than <laughs> a lot of the like higher end foundations that I've tested lately. And then at the 10 hour check-in, I thought it was definitely looking more worn off on my nose, my chin, my eyebrows, my cheeks, and everything. But it's one of those foundations that just fades away nicely, so it doesn't look horrible while it's fading, and was also looking more shiny. Which, of course, accentuates my pores and texture, but I didn't feel like I looked greasy or overly shiny. It's not like a really bad hard shine, it's just, you know, just a little more shiny than I would prefer.
So then the next time that I tested it, I put it on over my La Roche-Posay Anthelios AOX Antioxidant Serum with sunscreen SPF 50. I use the IT gripping primer on one side of my face, no primer on the other. I used a BK Beauty 101 brush on one side and the sponge on the primer side to apply it. The brush side was nice and smooth and even. I added a little bit more on the fronts of my cheeks and my nose and the other places where it wore off quickly the day before just to build up the coverage and it is buildable. The luminosity from the sunscreen was showing through the makeup so it had a little bit more of a luminous look that day. So I decided to powder my T-zone to see if the powder would help it and with the powder and the rest of my makeup on I really really love this. I thought it looked really really good again so that would be like the probably the sixth or seventh time I had worn it but the third time on camera and again I was really really happy with it. I love the natural look. I love how skin like it is. I love how easy it is to apply and I just am pretty much loving everything about it. All right five hour check in today with the Sephora matte tinted moisturizer. Really loving it today. Every time I pass myself in the mirror I'm like ah, oh my gosh it looks so good. So very happy with it. It isn't really showing too many signs of wear right now. It's settled like the tiniest bit in the wrinkle over here but not anything that anyone can see except me and my 15x mirror and it's not settled into my forehead wrinkles at all and it's not settled into my crow's feet at all so those are all good things very minor settling on this one not anything you know that anyone else can see so I'm happy with that you can see the tiniest bit and if I compare this side to this side, I feel like this side looks just a little bit wrinklier right up through here. But otherwise, I think it's doing well. It's not really too worn off on my nose or my chin. At the 10 hour check in, I thought the wear was a little bit better than the previous day. It was in place a little bit better, but it had gotten shinier. I wasn't happy with the amount of shine on that day. Um, I definitely wanted to blot or powder it, but it was time to take it off and go to bed. But overall, throughout the whole day, I thought that it looked really good. I thought it was not perfect, but still it looked really, really nice. So that brings us up to speed for now. I'll come back for a five hour and a 10 hour check in on it today. But overall, I feel like I can do the pros and cons now. I feel like there's not gonna be anything super different going on about it today. I have worn it quite a few more times than the three or four days that I'm showing you here because this really is um, a foundation that I just like so much. And it's one of those that is becoming like my favorite for an everyday. So, you know, when I'm just going out and running errands, and I don't wanna use a more expensive foundation. This is just perfect. It just evens out my skin tone, makes my skin look better than it is. So on the pro side are the Skin Like Natural Satin Matte Finish. I just love something that looks natural on my skin that doesn't look heavy like a mask of makeup. And this looks so natural. It's beautiful. It feels dry and set. And I like that when things set and they don't feel like they're sliding around all over the place. It doesn't settle into pores. It barely settles into wrinkles and it doesn't accentuate or crack in your wrinkles. I think it just doesn't do anything to make your wrinkles look worse than they are. It's easy to apply with finger, brush, or sponge. It's buildable, but it's not buildable to, you know, like full coverage and that's fine with me. It's comfortable. It doesn't contain any SD alcohol. It's fragrance-free and it's also cruelty-free. So on the con side, it's really just the wear time. I couldn't really get it up to like a full 10 hours looking great, but you know, that's okay for something that's a tinted moisturizer that you just wanna put on for like a no makeup makeup day. It looks decent while it's wearing off, even though I didn't get the longest wear out of it. And then the only other con about it is the smell of it. Like it's fragrance free, but it doesn't have anything in that's masking the smell of the stuff that, you know, like the ingredients and ingredients do have their own smell. I smell it when I first put it on and then it seems to dissipate and then that's it. But you know I know some people are very very sensitive to smells and so they might not like that about it. Overall I really really like this one. Now a lot of people wanted to know how it compares directly with the Stila Hide and Chic which is my new holy grail and of course this one I will put on the list of all the foundations that I've tried now over on my blog. I keep a running list over there that ranks them from best to worst. So this one is right up there in holy grail. Um, this one is mm, 
so close. I feel like it's knocking on the door of Holy Grail, but I guess I feel like this one just makes my skin look smoother throughout the day. This one, it does end up looking a little bit textured by the end of the day, and so that's why I prefer the Stila over the Sephora, but they are pretty comparable. I would say, you know, like if you're looking for a dupe for this, this is probably the closest thing that I've come across so far. Alrighty, I'm back for a five-hour check-in on the, what are we doing today, Sephora matte perfection tinted moisturizer and it still looks really good um, thought there wouldn't be much of a difference and sure enough there isn't i think with today's primers it's actually looking really good i use the revlon on this side of my face i use the laura mercier on this side of my face looking at it i feel like the revlon side is slightly more worn off up here and maybe over here on my chin than the Laura Mercier side. But overall, I think they both look pretty good. So, so yeah, still looking good at the five hour check-in. It's not getting luminous. It's not getting super shiny. Very happy with it. All right, hey you guys, I'm back. It's the 10 hour check-in. It's after 11 p.m. It's still um, pretty much in place. So I think the primers definitely helped it. It hasn't gotten overly luminous or dewy. So still good, no surprises, didn't crash and burn. Good setup today. It liked the primers, it liked the sunscreen. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed, Night unite. So it's a really good one. I hope you, you guys are looking for, you know, a lightweight, dry feeling, a skin-like foundation that's less expensive that you can just put on for an everyday look that you will give the Sephora Collection Matte Perfection tinted moisturizer a try. Mm -hmm.